This is our last flavor of the day. Our last flavor of the day. Wow. Uh, and we need more spoons. Roger, got it. Okay, our last flavor of the day. Uh, how about something with pineapple? Yeah, there we go. I thought we would temper this a little bit. I went to the supermarket last night, and I got uh, no-bake cheesecake, Jello no-bake cheesecake. Uh, so we'll use that. We'll use the rest of the pineapple. However, we'll use coconut also. So we'll actually make um, a pina colada cheesecake. I've never had that. Nobody here has ever had that. Nobody there has ever had that. Pina colada cheesecake. We'll give it a shot, all right? You've certainly had enough where if it's no good, you're not no loss. It's certainly... All right, so how much mix are we using? Come on. Half a bag. Half a bag, which is how much? Five quarts. Five quarts. Five quarts of mix. Okay, we'll start with five quarts of mix. I don't know that we have five quarts of mix here. But let's see. I think it's... Yeah, this is being used by uh, five quarts of mix. Talia, would you do me a favor? And, oh, maybe it's in there. Want to get a bag of mix out of there? Well, it depends when he put it in. Are there boxes of mix in there? Well, I'll tell you what. Close that up. Go to the refrigerator in the kitchen there and bring out one bladder. Uh, this stuff, no bake cheesecake, uh, it comes with two packets inside. You don't think I have cameras and microphones on you? <laughs> I didn't say anything bad. We don't let that anything get by. I didn't say anything bad. Honest. I hid my uh, other vanilla. The good stuff? You're using Thanks. it all up. This is still good stuff. Now, where's the good stuff? <laughs> it's, it's in a vault. <laughs> At $800 a bottle. Yeah. Okay, like five that. quarts. Five quarts of mix. Uh, this is vanilla. Not the good stuff, but pretty good stuff. He doesn't let me have the good stuff. Uh, my, gen my rule of thumb is how much? One ounce to one quart. Five quarts? Five ounces. It's a... Uh, hmm? Ah, you know, you'll believe me, you'll know. Your mother didn't measure the soup either, but she knew. Uh... Now, I also thought, you know, I was waiting to see how the last one came out with this stuff. It was okay. It didn't have a chemical taste to it. So we're going to use two of them. One is the pineapple and one is coconut, right. Are you the only one out there? Yeah. We'll use one ounce of pineapple and one ounce of coconut. How do they smell? I, I don't like to smell stuff like that. Oh, well. And I also, when I was uh, in, the, in the market last night, I was looking for more of the frozen concentrated pineapple juice. They didn't have it. But what I did see was pina colada mixer. So that will work, right? That's sort of like what we're doing here. So we'll use both boxes of this. Be damned. <laughs> uh, so we have the mix, the vanilla. We'll throw in this. We have some coconut and some pineapple. That should do it. Right? <laughs> All right. So we'll add the mix first. I always put the mix in first. You do too, right? Yeah. Of course.
Okay. The mix. Uh, let's throw these in. I hope these are good. They're Bacardi. Uh, they're Bacardi mixers, pina colada. Uh, it's, it doesn't have the rum, but it should be what we need, right? Yeah. My mic on? No. <laughs> so we'll add they're, these. They're so overwhelmed from the avocado, they can't speak. <laughs> That's because their jaws are gummed together. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> uh, okay, so now we're going to add this as we mix it together. The machine will be our mixer. When I first opened the store, I bought a beautiful green KitchenAid stand mixer. And I used that for maybe a year. Then I saw the light. What did I find? Uh, a paint stirrer at a True paint Value Hardware for four dollars, and an electric drill, and an, a variable speed electric drill, <laughs> and that works fine. And then I found the Ninja. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we'll add these. Uh, one is cheesecake, one is crust. Add them both? Yeah, of course. Damn it here. And we'll carefully measure them out. <laughs> crust. Jello, no bake cheesecake. Oh, I don't know. Pretty good, 11 ounces. But I think they only come in one size box. What a good dog. <laughs> we call this stealing the show. Upstaging. <laughs> yes. Now we'll add some pineapple. And then we'll add some coconut. Hmm? Pineapple uh, coconut Well, pina colada cheesecake, but the same thing, pineapple coconut. Jeff, I was going to buy some coconut the other day. Uh, are the coconut chips, are they sweetened? Or they some are, some aren't. How are the sweetened ones? Are they good? That's what we're using today. Okay. Uh, and they're fine. Do they're they get sweet. mushy in the ice cream? Uh, they're still stringy. You'll see. There's, okay. you know, but they're good. You can't really avoid it. You know, they are what they are. Yes. You can change the power on that one, correct? The uh, CB200 can be purchased either in 110 volt or 220. No, they're identical because uh, Copeland, the, the world's best compressors, which are made in Ohio, build us a special compressor, and it has the same spec specifications as the two the two twenty volts between one and one fifteen, exactly the same. I, I brought I, I brought it out because many of the millennials. Uh, will form a corporation in their kitchen and one person will be the CEO, the other will be the CFO, the other will be the president, another will be the chief operations officer. Uh, they don't have a business but they have the titles and uh, they actually buy that machine and the smaller one so that they can practice for a year or two before deciding to go into business. If you listen to Jeff and you've been in his class for two days, he's wondering why you aren't in business yet. <laughs> and I'm the same way. I just say, just do it. Everybody have a coconut allergy? Anybody have a, an allergy to coconut? Is there such a thing? I don't know. There's nut allergies, right? Oh, yeah, Those yeah. Those nuts who have allergies? Yeah. It's real, too. I have I a sign over there of uh, Mr. Peanut choking. <laughs> okay, did we, we get everything? Down. Did no, I miss they won't anything? Bite you. Her heart's pounding. Uh, 
The, yeah, no, we wouldn't. What was that? If you use blueberry. Yeah, I, I've made blueberry cheesecake, apple cheesecake, peach cheesecake, and cherry cheesecake at the store. Easy. No, 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 no. And if the pineapple were in heavy syrup like it used to be, I wouldn't have to add anything either. Okay, we ready? There you go. <laughs> All right. Now we do have some more if you think we ought to. No. Yes, more, more. Okay, so you, you get you get that the philosophy is just go to the supermarket and buy stuff, right? That's that's really the deal. That's what I profess. To go to the supermarket and buy stuff. Have you ever put cream, cheese in cream cheese? Yes, I have. Uh, when I first made the cheesecake, I thought we better add another bar of cream cheese in there, and I took a Philly brick and threw it in. Yeah. It was fine. It was creamy. This stuff's pretty good. I don't know how the Walmart cheesecake mix would be. That's 80 cents cheaper. But I know this is pretty good. This is Jell-O brand, no baked cheesecake. And if you, I should have done it, but if you taste that white powder, it tastes just like cheesecake. Have you ever made um, cookie dough? No. Me neither. I'm afraid to. Because of the raw? Yeah. You can make it without it. And then it's okay. Okay, maybe I'll try that next time. Okay, I guess we're ready to roll here, aren't we? Let's put it in. We're running down on time, so if you have questions, please ask them. Because unlike that other guy who charges $300 for seven questions or whatever, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. We read the promo yesterday in class. That's Who is it? Well, it I don't want to say. Is it Steve? Um, we're not using names. All right, I'll find. You can you can get six hundred dollars, which will allow you to ask questions for six three months. Three months. Now you can get twenty minutes of uninterrupted conversation for two hundred dollars. I'll see you off, Mike. <laughs> Isn't that something? That's unbelievable. I have it printed out. I do that for free from 5.30 in the morning till 10 at night. Of course. I'm not always do. right, but at least you get an answer. <laughs> so from now on, Talia, any questions, you pay for. You've had your allotment. Okay, we have more spoons. Uh, hey, Jack. Right behind you. Right behind you. Oh, no, that's a um, dry milk. Would you ask Crystal to bring in uh, a couple of boxes of spoons that are in the kitchen? Thank you. All right. And, and Sammy would like a steak. Look how good Sammy's being, huh? 69 pounds. How? What? 69 pounds. Lap dog. <laughs> <laughs> Lap dog. So this is the last ice cream we're making. Any, uh, and we started, as you know, with the lighter stuff, the Italian ices, the sherbets, and then we work our way up to the ice creams and stuff like that. Avocado. Uh, you liked it, huh? Well, that's a quick way to go broke anyway. You don't have to wait long. <laughs> I figured four months, you're done. Those dudes, those two guys, they sell avocado ice cream. Let's go over here. Let's go to Jeff's place. He sells toasted pineapple ice cream. Uh, what else? Anything else? Uh, what are those gel cakes up there on the floor? I've been asking him that for five years. What gel paste? All those. Those are pre-gel, uh, pre-gel. Oh, we don't mention that. Okay, we don't uh, talk they're about Ita it. It's Italian flavors. Okay. And more for the gelato. Yeah, my favorite company is a company called Fabri in Bologna, Italy. They started in 1905, the same year we did. And uh, Mrs. Fabri was, everybody was raving about her jams and jellies, and that she would put up in a jar. 
and she turned it into a business. And it's the best Italian flavor house uh, in the world. It's great stuff, uh, just great stuff if you're making gelato. Huh, um, cheesecake. Yeah, we talked about um, the, like the coffee flavoring, like Monin and Tarani. Can you use those in the Italian ice flavoring? Because we went to a place. Um, sure, you could. You can use any flavor if you want. Just keep in mind that uh, instead of your base being uh, dairy, which has taste, uh, your base in an Italian ice is water. So there's no taste there. So you're going to need at least twice as much flavor to do an Italian ice as you would an ice cream. Uh, so yeah, you can use anything. You can invent any flavor you want. Just make sure. I'd keep the same sugar water. Uh, but I would, uh, you know, alter the flavor. And again, mix it up and taste it before you run it. And if it tastes bland when you taste it there, it's going to taste bland when it comes out. So make the exception. And I didn't do that in the last class that we had. And I think I made a uh, either a ra I think I made a raspberry Italian ice with something else in it. And we all tasted it in class and agreed that it needed uh, two things. Number one, another pound of sugar. And number two, uh, more flavor. Uh, sugar oftentimes will enhance the flavor of an Italian ice without making it sweeter. You know, when you're talking the bigger machines and you're putting in seven or eight pounds of sugar, another pound is not going to make it sweeter, but it will bring out the flavor. It'll enhance it. It'll bloom? It'll, no, it won't bloom. It'll burst. <laughs> I don't make it. I'm a, di I'm a type 1 diabetic. I'm wearing an insulin pump on my arm here that you can't see. And um, we're a very vocal group, and we're relatively small, and we're annoying because we come in and we complain that you don't have uh, sugar-free ice cream. So you get two flavors, and there aren't that many people buying it, so it gets old and crummy looking. And then you complain, those are the same two flavors you had six months ago. I want more flavors. There aren't enough of you to make it worthwhile. I know I shouldn't be buying ice cream. I shouldn't be in your store. I am going to cheat. So put up a little sign that says, Dear Diabetic, you shouldn't cheat, but when you do, come here. You know, it's, it's a takeoff on if you're going to drive the old man to drink, drive him here. <laughs> but the problem with the sugar-free is they have to use a modified food starch, I call it a chemical, called multidextrin. And if you go and we buy some sugar-free candies, sugar-free chocolate, and it will say on the package, eat only one or two at a time. So oh, yeah. I ate I'm the whole sorry. bag, and then I wonder why I've got Montezuma's Revenge, because uh, multidextrin will give you acute gastritis, to say it politely. Uh, so I, there's no positives to it. Yeah, they... The, Well, let me put her down and I'll get the rainbow maker. And I just found my other tub, Jeff, that I wanted to show. So, Sammy, I'm going to put you down. And if you walk off, I'm going to have to take you to Paula. Okay. So. Okay, come here. Come here. Down. Down. You know what to do. <laughs> down. Down. Stay. Good girl. Stay. Um, let me get a rainbow maker. This was a test version of one. It's not the full size. But the idea is you have two or three of these. Um, excuse me. Sit. Down. Good girl. You have two or three or four of these. And so you're making a batch first of lemon. And you have it in there, and you put the lemon into one corner. And then you make another batch, and you put the uh, strawberry sure. or raspberry into that corner and fill up three or four of these. And then you make a blueberry and fill up that section. Then when you've made all three flavors, you pull this out. You've got three flavors and you scoop in a circular motion, red, white, and blue. So you wouldn't want to do it with just one, but if you had four of them, uh, depending on the size of machines, that's how you would do it. Superman ice cream. 
Yes, exactly. Superman ice cream. Now, Red, the other thing. Yellow and blue. Good girl. Stay there. Uh, I know, it's too exciting. Banana and grapes. Banana and grapes? Yeah. Beetlejuice. Was that Beetlejuice? This is what we were talking about for uh, using a push cart. Um, if, you're wear, if you're wearing black, she'll come right to you because you're going to have blonde hair all over you. <laughs> she knows. Um, you make your Italian, you take this, this is a double walled tub and it's got glycol in it. So we take this, we put it in the freezer and let it freeze overnight, rock solid. And then we make, take our tub of Italian ice out of the freezer, just drop it in there and that's our refrigeration system for the day. Uh, I've tested it with Italian ice, it's good for about six hours. No cover. 80, 85. No cover needed. I, I, I put some saran wrap over it. Uh, hey, 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 Sammy. Check. <laughs> yeah, look at her smile. She's laughing. I'm like, yeah, sure. Just let me, let me, let me add it. I know. Oh, well, I'm not going to break up this love affair. <laughs> um, so that's a very inexpensive way to do a push cart. These are about $85. They're made by a company called Carlisle. And um, it's, uh, you can find them all over the internet. Uh, web restaurant store has it. What are they called? Well, yes. Webstrant. Yeah, any of you looking for the web restaurant store, you're not going to find it. It's, uh, they thought they'd be cute and they named themselves Webstrant. W-E-B-S-T-R-A-U-N-T. Webstrant.com. And they've got everything in small quantities. If I'm going to the Italian ice business, I'm buying 200 of these, so I'm going direct to the manufacturer. If I'm buying uh, 20 of these, I'm going to Webstrant and, and buy 20 of them. That's simple. They're cheaper. That's why. They're all going to wear out in a year and a half to two years, so I'm buying this on price. Uh, Jeff's going to use his forever, and they'll last forever. These will break up in a couple of years. So, but this is $1.25. So it's a, it's a good... I do. Yeah, everybody does. Absolutely. You can't use Cambro in there because the Cambro have the handles built in. So yeah, you yeah. definitely you sanitize everything. The this thing? black thing, the black thing. Um, ice cream server. It's called an ice cream server. They'll show a picture of a lady with an apron. And I don't know. <laughs> and it's made by Carlisle. Is she gonna bother you? Okay. <laughs> She's everybody's best friend. She's really making the circuit. Um, I'm sorry, I'm interrupting. No, we're, we're almost done. Anybody else? Any questions on ices? Good. Now, I, I do have to say that I just tasted this. The coconut that we used was old coconut from Steve, and it didn't declump totally. Oh. So there will be some coconut clumps in there, which is not a bad thing, but they're not bugs. Sammy, no. Don't jump up on them. Steve? Nobody's allergic to, to coconut. No, because there's very little left in the machine, but the last thing in there was coconut, which is neutral. No one is allergic to it. Uh, that I know of, and you're just filling it up with dairy. When in doubt, just throw in a couple of uh, a few quarts of water, slosh it around for 10 seconds, and drain it out. Then like you'll be good to go. Like what we would do if we were going from something with raisins to something with coconut. Just one rinse. One of those, one of those uh, three-gallon uh, tubs. It's underneath. Where'd it go? It's down there. One of those, and once as a rinse, and that's fine. Okay, let's see what that's we got. Oh, this is heavy. That's a heavy ice cream. 
see what else it means. If she's bothering anybody, let me know. I'll take her out. One second, Talia. Ever what? Sure. Okay. Uh, okay, if you want to dare try this, be my guest. It is the last ice cream of the day. Well, look who's first. <laughs> And what is this? This is pina colada cheesecake. Or, as Abby said better, it's pineapple coconut cheesecake. Thank you, sir. Uh, no, she's got a sensitive stomach. We give her just strictly dog food. <laughs> oh, thank you. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> or avocados. And the irony is our first golden retriever, which was my first dog then ever. Have some. We had for many, many years. And she came out of a, a, a Boston, uh, an AKC uh, place in Boston. And Sammy came out of New York, and it was only uh, a year and a half later, we got some paperwork from the AKC, and the other dog, our first dog, was listed uh, on the paperwork. So she is the great, great granddaughter of our first well, dog, this a and longer, two different states. It, it makes sense too. because the one we'll up in decide. Boston, she was an AKC judge, Not and so when the lady with a lot of money down in New York decided she was going to raise Goldens on her farm, she went right, like I did, went right, right? to the top. And, oh, and you know, it just Don't made my afraid. wife so happy. All your questions <laughs> are dumb anyway. Yeah. 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 Steve, what Come on, speak up. up right now. Oh, we're done now? We're done now. Well, it's, oh, now it's only important for yes. how you I'm like gonna it. I'm going to take it's Sammy, like and then sugar. I'm going to take everyone around. You want more sugar? Ready there, sweetie? Come on. Add more sugar. Good girl. You want to pull this a little softer? Pull it a little softer? She is. I think the flavor is good, but the coconut's hard, isn't it? So well behaved. The flavor is good. You know what I get? I get an aftertaste of cheesecake crust. Yeah, maybe graham cracker. But it is creamy. I don't know if I have a lot of the cheesecake flavor. Very smooth. Yeah. Mmm. You want to tell Crystal uh, we got it for her? Mm -hmm. Small portion? <laughs> After this, you got to run around the block. Mm. Well, so much for the pineapple. I'm even going to leave this here. Who knows what will be next time. I do have a couple of cans of apple filling, apple pie filling. By the way, good, good quick recipe. We talked about it yesterday. If you're in the store, a, a, a number 10 cans, those big cans of, well, any size can, of banana pudding... And all you need to do is take the banana pudding, add it to the mix, and your flavor ice cream is banana cream pie. 
Mm. And it's extraordinary. It's really excellent. Two ingredients. What? Vanilla wafers, yeah. It's just two ingredients. I mean, what could be simpler? I have some more for you. And what's this called, Jeff? This is called... Um, what? Pina colada cheesecake. 